So how do we go about setting up the specific training? The first thing we need to do is choose the position that we want to work on. Again, if we're working on trying to pass the Della Hiva, let's say that this is our topic of choice. So passing the Della Hiva. Generally, how I like to approach this is firstly, we look at things always from the lens of collaboration, collaborative movement. Why? Especially when we're learning jujitsu to add a lot of resistance in the beginning just doesn't make any sense. We need to understand how to move in relationship to our partner in an unresisted exchange. Now, unresisted doesn't mean that my partner is like a limp noodle because that is also not realistic of what the actual body structure is like. But it's enough structure that I'm still able to hold the position. Again, if Juno gets into the De La Hiva now, he's in the De La Hiva, but he's not moving me around. He's not adding extra force to the exchange. So I have this first initial reference point that, okay, this is what it feels like to be in the De La Hiva guard. So then I can slowly start to understand what I can do again to nullify the hook, to move around him, especially when we are learning as a white belt, as a blue belt, when we're coming up in the ranks. If we want to be precise with movements, it's sometimes hard to learn from the perspective of always having resistance added right from the get-go. So I recommend that you start from a two to three minute round you can do this for two, three cycles, so two to three rounds of two to three minutes. Film it, and just try and move with your partner. So the first exchange, again, using De La Hiva as a point of reference, my partner doesn't have to move straight away. I can do a few movements with him to any sort of pass. I reset. I'm just trying different things. He's just keeping good structure. He's not being limp. I'm finding my way around his body. I, if you consider your partner's body to be like an architecture, I'm finding out what are the possible ways to move through the space. Because there's so many different ways to move. Now, how do we get to the next level? Because of course, this is pretty easy. This is only the first part, right? We established a dialogue. This is our base point. In order to now gain deeper understanding, deeper insights, we have to up the resistance. But again, we can think about it still in terms of collaboration. He can start moving lightly. So now that I'm in the Dele Hiva, as I start to open, you can start to frame still, you get the knee shield. So there's just like maybe even like 20, 30% of movement. Slow movement so you still have time that you don't feel overwhelmed. You're not in a high stress environment because these two things are crucial. Often people get very overwhelmed when they're starting off trying to learn how to pass a new guard. They kind of stress out or they freeze. If you don't want to freeze, it's important that you feel calm and collected until you build the confidence to start upping the tempo on your own terms. So start with no resistance, but no limp noodle. Start moving a little bit more of your partner so you can talk, ask them to move more as you go along. So it's really important to give each other feedback. When you're feeling more confident, again, Try and structure two to three rounds with your partner that maybe they're going 80 to 90% resistance. So when there's a lot more physicality, you can start to understand how that might look. You may have to use some physicality or create more space going through the concepts that we've been talking about earlier on in the instructional too. 